But I'm not gonna be talking seals. Still you Oh shit shit What the fuck? This message is to remind you that I use adult language and references. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, Fearless Showdown here, and welcome back to another episode of Drift Streets Japan. I'm probably gonna have to silence this audio completely so you guys can freaking hear me because it's so goddamn loud. I'm gonna turn my own volume down here. But, if you guys don't keep up with the game, then you would know that there was a new update. Now, that um, includes a uh, new very annoying uh, home menu music, which they had before, but they had to make it even better. So, with the update, they included some new things. Now, with that new things is this uh, new weird graphics main menu thing. Another thing is, is uh, once you get out on the track, the lighting in the whole world is completely different, and the car graphics are just phenomenal. They look ten times better than they did before, and along with that, they also added new wheel upgrades. And no, that's not the wheel that's in the cockpit view, the four wheels that drive the car, sir. They are all new and all awesome. So, with this car... I haven't set it back to stock because I don't even know what the stock motor is in this because I'm a fucking uh, Toyota noob. But it does have a 2J in it, so I'm just going to leave it with the 2J. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this car. What I didn't mention is along with the new update, they also made the cars more stable with higher amounts of power. If you guys remember, I had to keep the power really low because the cars were extremely twitchy and weird to drive. Now it's way better. So right now we're going to go ahead and... I'm just gonna go to tuning first. Uh, we're gonna try multiplayer today. Hopefully, I can handle this shit uh, while I'm recording. Hashtag shit internet. But you can see the graphics are actually way better. Uh, they don't look better, honestly. The the lighting's kind of weird. It's really bright, but I do in general like it. It looks like they did some under the vehicle. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't tuck them wheels like that. This side's tuck. This side's tuck more than that side. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on, but they put license plates on the cars, you can look in the interior view, the interior view is more detailed, I feel like it's smoother uh, as, a, as a fucking Honda Civic drives through me, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, have some fun with this. I love this interior, it's actually pretty sweet, got that boost gauge, right up in my face so I can't see shit. See, this thing's gears are messed up too. Is it every car? I feel like it is. They need to fix that fucking second gear for real. Get past, man. Get fucking past. Drop that gear and fucking disappear. I'm just saying weird shit like really slow because I'm trying to focus right now. And it's fucking paying off too. Look at this shit. In the arms of the angel, fly away from here. No! No! Fifteen times. It's hard to really compare console people with PC people. You can compare consoles and consoles, but PC is completely different. The games are different. The graphics are different. They're just, it's a whole different world. I understand that you may think console graphics are better, and that, that makes sense. But, tell, show me a console that can do 4K display. Which is considered better graphics, but when you're 4K and display Drift Streets fucking Japan, you're not gonna get the best shit. But if you're doing GTA 5 on PC, damn. Or Black Ops, or Battlefield, or even H1Z1 would look better. You just need to, you just need to see the possibilities. 
with a PC, I could play low-end games on a PC for 600 US dollars. Or I could play the most advanced games on the market right now, edit, render, do whatever I want, and pay up to like $2,000 on a computer. It's, it's all what you want to do, and you can build it any fucking way you want, which is incredible. It's just, it's just amazing. Like, I, I can't believe I didn't get into PCs sooner. This is way better than consoles, in my opinion. I love it. It's just, it's just great. Uh, the only thing is, is this game has controller issues, which after the update, it might have fixed it. I haven't even tried playing with controllers yet. But I know that back when I tried, it sucked. I don't know, there was some weird access key that wasn't working right. Uh, they they must have known about it because people were non-stop complaining about it uh, Especially the, the slap train and he's pretty much sponsoring them He isn't an official sponsor for them, but just playing the game. I'm sure they've gotten so many People buying it including me. I bought it because I watched his video dead serious So they've got to be getting a lot of purchases just because of him. I mean the game's only six dollars and ninety nine cents Why wouldn't you? That was sick did you guys see that shit? God damn. I don't know why drifting always turns into talk about my life, but it just does. It just always does. I don't know what it is about it, but it just calms me, makes me want to help people, talk to people. And that's really what I wanted to do with YouTube, is I wanted to make how-to videos and stuff. Because I felt like the things that I teach myself and the things that I learn are things that other people have a hard time learning about, like building PCs. That came to me fairly easy compared to other people. It only took me three weeks to learn most of the basics. And by most of the basics, I learned more than the basics, but, I mean, uh, it's hard to, it's hard to explain how another person feels, but I'm not going to be talking feels to you, oh, shit, shit, what the fuck, why, why this game, every fucking time, I don't understand, this is some bullshit, it's, uh, now I'm fucking trapped in this shit, what the fuck, god damn it. Oh my god. Well guys, I think I'm gonna call that an end to this Drift Street Japan episode. Oh man. I don't know. Drifting drifting isn't as fun as it used to be. I mean it's not that it's not fun. I, I love making drift montages and you can't really do that with this game and drifting always turns out into let's talk about my life and that's not bad. I enjoy it. I don't know if you guys enjoy it though. So if you guys enjoy this kind of weird talk about my life while I drift around like a boss uh, videos, go ahead and leave a like or a comment below man. I mean seriously, I don't. if you like it I'll keep doing it but if not I'm probably want to figure out an alternative because I mean I feel like this is weird. Is it weird? Nah. Alright guys, well I appreciate you for clicking on the video and watching. I'll see you next time.